When you win, mm, it was good. It was a good start. We we couldn't be more pleased, to be honest, to uh, play a team that you know, we're vying for the same position in the eight. Um, a lot of teams are, but they are definitely one. And we played a good, strong first game of the year. Uh, looked like we we um, were doing things that we've been practicing, and they carried it out. And we're pretty pleased with the performance overall. Yes. Uh, look, I think when you start well, it always just it, it's a great thing for everybody. And um, you know, the scoreboard was ticking over early. I don't think the Dustin Fletcher thing. Like, I think it probably lasted about thirty seconds. Like, when you're running for a ball, you wouldn't actually say, "I'm going to run faster because I, I want to win for Dustin." But it's great to win the game and to celebrate. And he just told the team that all these other milestones, basically, they've lost. So he's really happy that they've won one. I said, well, we'll do the same for the 400, mm. the 450. The other thing, Bomber, obviously, the last 24 hours, the 10 year birds, uh, how much impact did that have just in the league? Oh, I didn't. Um, I tried very hard not to concentrate on that. And I told, we told all the players not to, not to even go there. Um, it's not the right time. Uh, we got a game on, and I wanted all the players, I wanted all my staff just to concentrate on the game. And... You know the game's only just wrapped up, so we'll um, we'll let the committee and the board deal with that when they do. And uh, I think enough's already been said from Paul Little about what the next couple of days look like. You weren't frustrated at all at ten years old as a coach trying to prepare for a game. It was a strange time. I didn't even want to go there to get upset. To be honest, I I had a day where I just had a lot of messages. Ever all my friends in the world text me to congratulate me and wish me best, all the best. And uh, so I was busy replying to them and I didn't have a snooze and I wanted to have a snooze, but um, so I was busy enough without worrying about that stuff. Hmm. I liked it, yeah, yeah, little chappy. He uh, pretty well liked by the playing group. The coach obviously likes him. Um, other staff do, he's you know, four goals first game, got the ball, used the ball well. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good to have around the club. He certainly does, yeah. I like his leadership here. I think he's, I think he, li he is liking it too. The players, just um, um, trying to get some of his knowledge and experience out of him. Uh, he didn't really offer that much at the Cats. He didn't have to. He was playing with guys that sort of knew what they were doing. So, I think he's enjoying that element too, aspect of the of the new club. I think he got cramp. We had a few get cramp. Uh, young Gleeson got cramp. I think Stanton was running that well at the end, or Watson, but I think they did a power work and I was very pleased with their work rate. It would have been nice to finish off just a good, strong performance, but that's what coaches want, perfection. You're never going to get it. And, uh, yeah, some tired boys. Hmm. Um, yeah, I got angry at a few things. The old, uh, yeah, the old uh, ones that used to get me back then too. Um, probably just got to settle down, mature. And I've got it for 22 weeks. I should have a bit more fun than uh, try and win as many games as we can and enjoy the year. Mm. You leaned back at one stage and thought you were going to go to the salad sandwich again down at the Cattery. Uh, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we, weren't, we weren't enough in front. No. I'll get it out one time this year, I think. Mm. You must be pleased to get five goals out of Goddard and Watson. <coughs> yeah, well, that, that's the thing about... Uh, you know, if, everyone's sort of saying, well, hell, where are they going to kick their goals? Well, it doesn't matter where you get it from, just as long as you get them. And you know, good players get the ball no matter what part of the ground they play in. And Watson's always shown an ability in the last year and a half, two years, to, that he kicks goals when he goes in and takes contested marks. When the ball hits the ground, he wins, you know, beats his boat. Chapman will do the same. God will do the same. Stanton. Uh, so we'll, we'll kick enough goals. Hmm. Two, two things that were sort of dominant before this match with you guys was the ball set up and also you wanted to see them with a bit more energy after obviously working pretty hard during the pre-season. Yep. And both of them, to some extent, serving the forward line to some extent, and just your energy really well tonight. Yeah. It, um, you know, Roger, I was very concerned. Like, we started well, sharp, and then I felt second half of the first quarter and the first half of the second quarter that we were running out of legs and we slowed up and they started to get a bit more ball and I thought, oh, no, we may not have... We might have just cooked them a bit long, but... 
we sort of snapped out of it, and I thought uh, we probably just timed it perfectly. We wouldn't have we 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 uh, we didn't get it uh, right by much. Hmm. I'm a little nervous about playing three dummy Yeah, I've never done it before. That's again, you know, the risk you can take if you're not, you know, you can just do it. I can do it. it doesn't matter. Hmm. I'm going to do it. I, no I did it. Hmm. They went well. Yeah, but they went well. The, the thing is, like Paddy Ambrose, you probably don't, no one in the room knows him. He, um, private school boy, calm, unbelievable person, character, athlete, competitive, not uh, a brilliant footballer. He's been at the club for one, you know, four months and he's playing his first game of footy as a rookie and didn't look out of place. It's a credit to the recruiting staff and the people who have been working with him. Um, I reckon he's going to play a fair bit of footy. Hmm. Uh, about... Can't stop him from running. And they got it taken off him. Yeah. Poor bugger. Yeah. Imagine doing all that work and getting hit like that and having a, not getting a kick. Mm. Oh, that's him, though. That's him. You'll see him do it all the time. He'll never, he'll never flinch. And I reckon he'll, he'll end up being whoever coaches him long term. Will just he'll be the coach's pet because he'll do do exactly what we ask him to do. Well, coaches love players like that. Mm. No, we well, haven't done it like that either. That well. So I don't know where it come from tonight. That surprised us. Well, yeah, it seems to be like it's a way to break momentum and uh, form of defence because you've got the ball, they can't score goals. If you need a rest, if you want to break the cycle of the game, if they've got a, you know, just a, a bit of a period in the sun where they, they, they've got control of the game, that's, that's what clubs are doing. So you can't hide from the fact it works. And we, we're doing a little bit of it. We haven't done it that well at training. We have done it nowhere near as good as that, in fact. I'm going to crack jokes all year, mate. You never know in round one how you're going to go. Uh, you never know how your opposition is. You've got no form line. Uh, it's difficult. Um, you know, what you're practising and is it um, you're practising against yourself? Like, no, that's not great. So, but I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, I was pleased. I think the whole club's pleased that we've had a, a good, strong victory against a good team who we rate as a good team. Round one, 2002, Byron, you played three different times. I did. Uh, Abbott Bartel. David Johnson, so. Oh, really? you got a good memory. How did you know that? How did you know that? Bit of a tip-off. Huh. Might have been Tommy Harvey. Oh, right. <laughs> I wouldn't. I can't remember that. Bartel. Who's the other? Ablett. Ablett. David Johnson. Three good players. Two very, very, very good ones. Mm. Um, oh, look, we think Merritt's going to be a beauty. We wouldn't have played him. He, um, he immediately has picked up the tempo. He's a tackler. Really good decision maker in close. He's a good kick. Um, he's got a good head on him. He's just like both merits. Even Jackson, his brother's got a good head on him for footy. Just calm, thinks methodically about things. Um, yeah, just good rounded players. And Gleeson, I think, is going to be a beauty. Yeah. Well, when you play Hawthorne and Fremantle the next two out of the next three weeks, it's pretty important. So. Yeah. I reckon blokes um, who are good players, when they play behind the ball, they, they goal keep. And then when they play in front of the ball, they actually have to go and get it. Like, they, it's, 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 it just doesn't come to them. Um, some players are suited forward. Like, he's probably got both. I think he plays his best when he goes forward. And it's more important for the team. That's why we put him there. Purdy obviously thought uh, better off down the other way. No, I think he's played a bit of both, yeah. He's put Job forward. We're going to put Job forward. We've got a lot of, a lot of Zaharakis forward, Chapman forward on ball. So we've got, we've got people who, a lot of forwards on ballers. We just haven't got enough on ballers' backs. Myers, Gleeson, Heppel, yeah, probably not enough. Hmm. I've asked, I've, I've missed all these things, 150 questions. <laughs> you get a whole week's worth of... <laughs> you got any questions, is it? Oh, I have. <laughs> Next week.